Welcome to Silver Pros, sponsored by Hero Bullion. I'm your host, Yankee. I'm with Silver Dragons. How you doing, brother? Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm doing great. We're going to discuss how to encourage others to stack silver now. And that could be a tough, tough thing to do, bro. Yeah. Yeah, especially uh, maybe the wifey, maybe the kids. They don't get it. They're like, what is this silver stuff? Why are you buying all this silver? <laughs> exactly. There's there's a resistance sometimes. Right. So why don't we just start out with the, the simple question, why is it so hard to convince some people to stack precious metals? Um, honestly, they don't understand what they are. <laughs> and, and they don't understand the history either. You know, yeah. silver has been around for thousands of years. It's real money. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, even constitutional silver came out uh, up until 60s. 1964 was the last year of constitutional. That is a great thing, by the way, to stack. Um, in fact, let me just take a moment and show our sponsor, Hero Bullion. They're, they're selling 90% junk silver or constitutional silver, if you don't like that right. name. Check out their website. They've got some really great deals going on here. My preference is the dimes. I've always loved them. Yeah, me too. Right? I love the dimes. Check out herobullion.com. Jake's a great guy. He runs a wonderful company. And uh, there's some great deals. Great prices and fast mm. shipping too and, and impeccable customer service. So anyways, constitutional, really important, but you bring up a good point. People don't recognize that it's real money. But I think there are ways that we can help people learn the benefit of it. Uh, in fact, True. I think there's some unique ways. I, I, I'm thinking back to you know when my kids were younger and I wanted to instill in them you know, understanding of what real money was and an understanding of uh, how our money has changed from, you know, mm -hmm. money that was backed. I, I showed them a silver certificate. I actually got this ice cream stand and- well, You do love your ice cream. I do love my ice cream, <laughs> yes, you, you're right. I, I sold them ice cream, right? You know, but I gave them the money, sure. of course. And I, and I showed them the value of like a, a silver dime getting their ice cream versus a bunch of fiat currency. And I explained it in a way that I hope was fun. That's a great, a great strategy. I've talked to my kids about it as well. But one thing that I like to do is buy them fun things they can relate to, mm. uh, like different silver coins and whatnot, mm. and and just show them how cool it is as well. Because you know, because my kids are really little, <laughs> they're still learning about money and whatnot. But you always got to talk about real money for sure. But one of the cool things is like these right here. I know a lot of people are into the different Ooh. series. You know, they got there the Marvel. Yeah, uh, you got Star Wars, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, they're that, just fun to buy. That, that resonates with Little Stacks. He has pretty much the whole series of the Marvel. And I think, what, Disney? That's another big one for you, right? Do you do yep. Disney? Oh, yeah. And I buy them for my wife, too. <laughs> my <laughs> wife's got the whole uh, Mandalorian <laughs> series. So fun so, items, things that kind of make fun. it enjoyable. It's fun. You spice it up a little bit. So why don't we talk about uh the types of resistance that you might run into and how we could maybe you know help people the first resistance that really i think pops up a lot is those that uh have a hard time with their spending habits oh my goodness dude that is my generation <laughs> well, i'll own that one for the generation they they don't <laughs> save money we, i mean i i used to not save money i I had such a hard time having any sort of savings because what I would do is, you know, I'd have my checking, my savings account. And if I needed money, I would just, you know, go on my phone, move it from my savings to my checking. And then boom, it was gone just like that in and out. I mean, and I could never hold any savings for years and years and years. It was such a, a hard thing to do. But then when I started buying silver, mm. it got so much easier to actually save money because you just buy a few silver coins this week, buy a few more silver coins next week. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you got this massive savings and you're like, how did I do that? And it was so much fun along the way. Right? <laughs> it's fun. And it's also, um, it th that is liquid, right? Or moderately liquid. You could sell it, but it's not yeah. so liquid that you could just, you know, it, it, it slows you down a bit, right? You would have to take it all the way down to the coin shop, there you go. sell it, turn it into fiat currency, and then spend it. So mm. that is putting a barrier, right? Other than just pushing a button on your phone, there's basically no barrier to spending that. 
I think one of the challenges is um, just the whole delayed gratification thing. Right. And I will say, you know, going out to eat, you know, some people, they want to go out to eat and spend 50 bucks on a meal or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you could buy, you know, a silver coin or a few silver coins. And there is a little bit of gratification in that as well, knowing that you save, but also you can buy different cool coins to enjoy. Here's the second thing, though, that I I, I want to speak to this one, right? There is a group of people out there that are petrified. Those who are really fearful, maybe fearful of uh, uh, the economy or losing their job or you know, what's going on in society. And, and I think those people sometimes don't get silver and gold. And I think talking with them and expressing precious metals as a hedge, especially a hedge against the loss of uh, a purchasing power of the U.S. dollar right. is a valid uh, way to, to, to work with them. You know, I talk to them about current events. I, I show them how, you know, precious metals has done during periods of uncertainty. I think that's a, 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 good, a good way to express, you know, silver as a safety net. Sure. Well, I mean, also too, just like if you're already worried about the economy, maybe you should be worried about the dollar as well because yeah. inflation, like, hello, I mean, look how much money we've made in the last two years. Right. It's absolutely insane. So, yeah. yeah, no, I agree. I think that would be a little bit easier to, to t- talk about silver. Now, of course, the challenge there is sometimes you can come across as a doom and gloomer, right? Maybe a little Such bit, a yeah. Such a downer, right? But I, I think that can work well with those types. How about those who, they're on the other the flip side. side. Right. The, the, the optimist. The, you got it, right? Everything is awesome. <laughs> Bingo. The world is never going to end. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could go wrong. I think they're the hardest ones to convince. Probably, yeah. Uh... Okay, I'll, I'll fess up here. Mrs. Yankee kind of was in this camp, especially early on. And I had to approach it as, again, silver being money. And that I wasn't buying it. I was converting it to a different form of money. Ooh, that is good. Honestly, that is probably one of the best strategies for Mm -hmm. talking to your spouse about precious metals because they're like, you're spending all this money. Like, Mm -hmm. look how much you're spending on these coins. You just spent $2,000 on a gold coin. And you're like, I didn't spend any money at all. Mm -hmm. The money is still here. I spent literally nothing. I converted it in, from paper money into real money. And I can convert it back if I choose you to. And convert course, it back. It's safe. <laughs> that I don't I didn't use the word um permastack with my wife early on. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh we can convert it back. <laughs> exactly. If right. we need to, it's still there. <laughs> right. And it worked I think it worked well uh with her and, and, and she really does appreciate it now. I think I think the challenge with this, though, is that if you go too far, it can really come across as, you know, someone's going to go overboard with this, right? You mentioned it. You know. It's just a portion. The next group is those who are, I want to see my money grow. I want capital appreciation. I want to speculate. I'm young. I don't care about risk reward. I want to, you know, roll the dice and make some money. But you can roll the dice and speculate with precious metals if you want i mean there's mining stocks high risk but high reward potential so you can do that with silver and gold uh that shouldn't be the only thing you do with silver and gold uh, but that is an option yes you can speculate big time with it right you certainly can gold has done really well over the past 20 years you know Mm. people don't want to wait 20 years but you could do both that's that's why it's called diversification you could put some money into gold and silver mm-hmm. and then you can do it what you want with the rest of it <laughs> yep, that's right stocks bonds whatever those are the main uh you know perspectives that i wanted to cover but this is also important be opportunistic i think back to 2008 the global financial crisis that we had i used that to help convince mrs yankee to let me buy the yankee cannon 20 ounces uh, of gold and she she agreed with me to do it. I don't do anything without agreement of my wife. So, how about the pandemic? Yeah, never never let a, a crisis go to waste, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> if the government's going to use it as an excuse to do whatever they want to do, I mean, yeah, you should utilize it as well. Like, hey, we're in a crisis. Mm. This, you know, this isn't that bad, but it 
the next one could be much worse. We should prepare for that. Put some money away in savings in gold and silver. Be prudent. Right. What about using the opportunity of walking up and down the grocery store aisles? True that. Right? Seeing the True prices. That. You could just kind of mention, man, this inflation. <laughs> you know? Just We're getting kinda, crushed. We're getting... <laughs> wow. You know what would help, honey? Uh... <laughs> This whole cart of groceries would have been a hundred dollars last week, and now it's two hundred bucks. <laughs> Other life events. Uh, we we were uh, reevaluating our uh, term life insurance, and uh, and even redoing our homeowners insurance. And I kind of said, you know, we probably need some wealth insurance. What do you think? And she was like, What do you mean? Boy, that was a great opportunity to explain it again from that perspective. So again, look for times, look for opportunities to really help people. It's one of the safe haven assets, and you should probably put some in before it's too late. It's never too early to start stacking. I mean, your kid. I actually have little stacks going for my kids. Uh, they got their own little Jeez. silver and some gold in their stack. You're tra- and you're teaching them right, man. Yeah, when they get old enough, I'll turn it over to them and hopefully they'll keep on stacking. So we're talking about helping people, right? Mm-hmm. Encouraging them. Um, and, and we want to, we want to help people that we love, family members, friends, and we may be seeing uh, people living hand to mouth or whatever it is. We want to help people. But what should we be careful of, SD? Uh, you know, safety first uh, yeah. on who you talk to. Oh, I mean, yeah. Obviously, if it's your spouse or your kids, you probably trust them. I hope. <laughs> I certainly hope so. I hope. But, but even but family members, there may be some, unfortunately, extended family members, you, you, you can't have this conversation with them. It's sad right. to think. But, but if you can, I hope that the stuff we talked about uh, in this video will help you. Um, definitely uh, leave a comment down below on this video. Some of the things that maybe you've done in the past to help people learn how to stack. And I think it was a great discussion, man. It was a great one, Yankee. Uh, we hope you enjoyed listening in today, and we'll see you next time on Silver Pros. Stack like a pro.